side by side with General Storm, but now he has united a small army against this country. He's acquired most of the ground assault weaponry, save one, mine. It is here that we've constructed the ultimate series of battle tanks. The General's coming for the prototypes, but most importantly, he's coming for me. Big mistake. Prototype data cannot be erased. Do you wish to continue with another option? Warning, you have activated the self-destruct mechanism. Do you wish to continue? Destruction in one minute. This is Wendy Wilkie reporting live from the outskirts of Schoberg City. I've confirmed reports that a hostile military unit has occupied the inner sections of the city. As of yet, there's no sign of reaction from the Government Department of Defense. I will keep you updated with the latest. Hey, we're shutting you down here. It's we're occupied here. territory. I have a right to be hey, here. Shut up. Hey, leave her alone. Oh, you want some, buddy? <laughs> this is Wendy Wilkie reporting live from just outside Kenyer Airfield Base. As you can see behind me, the airfield that was seized by enemy forces has been completely destroyed. Earlier this morning, I witnessed a single tank rip through Schoberg City, annihilating everything in its path. It then proceeded south, where it continued its onslaught here at Kenner Airfield Base. This might be the first sign of reaction from the Government Department of Defense. However, there is still no official comment at this time. The individuals who may be operating this lone tank are still unknown. However, some... <laughs> This is Wendy Wilkie reporting to you from the Wasteland Oil Refinery. What you are witnessing is the aftermath of an incredible battle that occurred here only moments ago. The fumes are very strong and it seems as if there's a possible threat of chemical weapons that have been used here. We do have a break in this story in regards to who may be responsible for this surprise military revolt. It seems as though General Storm, a war hero from the Eastern Conflict, has organized a small army against his own country. We have no further reports on the mysterious lone tank that has heroically crushed its way south. This is Wendy Wilkie reporting to you live from atop High Duke Mountain. Behind me stands the headquarters for General Storm's rebellious operation against this country. Earlier this morning there was a break in the story when an unknown source indicated that the lone tank was operated by one man. This tank is like none other we've seen before, for it is a super tank. The identity of the lone tanker still remains a mystery. Reports from other sources do indicate that this battle may be more personal than political. I will keep you updated whenever possible. That's my arm. 
I think I need to get to a hospital. Okay, you, you just hang on one second. I'll take you to the hospital. All right. Hang on one second. Okay. 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 This is Wendy Wilkie reporting to you live from High Duke Mountain. It's been a grueling two days since the initial takeover of the southern frontier, but as I stand here with the citadel burning behind me, I can happily say the threat is over. Cities may have been destroyed, but we can help rebuild them. Forests may have been burned, but we can help regrow them. And lives may have been lost, but we can help remember. And remember we must, for there is one man who is responsible for the downfall of the evil General Storm. One man who stood up to the tyranny and crushed it with fierce courage. He remains faceless, but someone who we are forever indebted to. In this legendary tale, our hero has vanished. So wherever he may walk, let God be with him. The danger has passed, for now.